Alright, so this is how to make the most toxic 7 foot 3 center build in this game. I promise you guys, I made this build for this video. I'm not using it after this. Because honestly, I just kind of feel bad. Anyways, for the position, you guys are going to want to go center and then also just please subscribe. Then, the most toxic body settings possible is going to be 7 foot 3 at 243 pounds and 8 foot 1 for the wingspan. Obviously, max height, max wingspan, very, very overpowered for an inside center build. And going with high weight makes this build so much better. You don't have to go with higher weight you can go a little faster if you want to okay so first things first let's talk about the finishing on this build you guys see 99 standing dunk 99 standing dunk obviously you're gonna be getting so many standing contact dunks on this build right here this is the first and one of very few games i actually ended up playing on this build i literally only had rebirth badges but i caught so many contact dunks in this game like honestly it's so overpowered whether you have take or whether you don't have take and i know this guy is a point guard but trust me i'll be showing you guys some other taller builds a little bit later and the exact same thing happens i just get a contact dunk every time now you guys see the rest of the finishing stats is very very good nothing too too crazy if i'm being honest for seven foot three center build you don't really need that high driving dunk you just need a little bit so you can get driving dunks if they are there but you do not need the super super high because you can't even get driving contact dunk packages anyways with a 99 saying dunk you can basically get driving contact dunks if that makes sense but it's just gonna be like a little bit slower also you guys do not need super high post control just trust me i made so many post scoring center builds in this game you just do not need post control to post score. I have no issue with drop steps, post spins, backing people down, whether they're a guard or whether they're another seven foot three center. And then also close shot, you don't really need the super, super high either, but you just do need a little bit. I'll show you guys the badges a little bit later, as well as the badge spread. But you guys see right here, the finishing is honestly so, so crazy. I believe this was like a six foot nine lockdown. He's just getting absolutely bullied down low. And right there, ain't one, bro. Just get off me. I'm telling you, if you are seven foot or below, this build is gonna absolutely bully you down low like there's nothing you can do about the drop steps and, all, and not to mention if you're just remotely competent and able to get into a decent position for a standing dunk then you're gonna be able to get a contact standing dunk literally every single time because 99 standing dunk is so overpowered i'm telling you when it comes to finishing there's just no way to stop this build it's so overpowered also, for your finishing badges, this is pretty much what I'd recommend going with. In total, I believe you're going to be able to get 22, but you're going to want to throw all of your plus four into finishing, so that way you can basically get 25. And then with 25, you can also get a gold aerial wizard. You guys can pretty much see the badge spread right here. Everything is so, so crazy, especially with Hall of Fame rise up and Hall of Fame fast twitch. Like, you're getting a contact dunk every single possession. It's so overpowered. Drop me a like if you guys want me to make this build 99 overall and go to the rec center or pro-am or something. For shooting, yeah. Uh, you don't really need any shooting this is an inside center build after all but if you guys want to see a shooting seven foot three center build that has absolutely insane finishing and defense as well that video will be coming very soon now for playmaking you guys see this isn't anything too too crazy all you're gonna get is a 76 pass accuracy but this is very very important the reason why this is so important is because that allows you to get all the good passing styles as well as gold break starter and your dribbling to be honest is gonna be pretty minimal don't try to dribble too too much or else you might get ripped just be smart with the basketball and then for a defense, this is so, so crazy. 99 block, 99 defense rebound, and some other very good defensive stats. And as well, do not forget your 7 foot 3, 8 foot 1. Like, every single rebound is going to be yours. Every time someone tries to drive towards the basket, you're going to be getting a block. If you get switched onto a guard, unfortunately, you are going to be just a little bit too slow. But even on the 1v1 court, I was getting stops against guard builds. All right, so for your passes, you're getting 28 total. You guys can pretty much see what I'm going with. Hall of Fame rebound chaser and Hall of Fame box out beast makes every single rebound so easy to get because box out beast not only means you're able to box people out but also means you're able to worm past anyone so literally and i played so many games where my opponent does not have like at least gold box out beast and i'm able to just get past them every single time literally every single offensive rebound is mine those two badges are very very overpowered and then chase down artist and hall of fame anchor that's also so so overpowered you're able to just get so many blocks with those two badges right there yeah all around just do not try to come to paint against this build this thing is so toxic all right, so now you guys can pretty much see what I went with for the takeovers. These are just the takeovers I decided to go with. I pretty much just always go with these takeovers for my center builds because I think rim protecting takeover is very, very overpowered. And then see the future is also very, very overpowered. And you guys can see I built a glass cleaning finisher. Let me show you guys how to make this build on current gen. So if you guys are on current gen, pretty much the build is kind of the exact same. You guys see vitals and body settings are going to be basically the exact same. The only difference is upgrade the build like this instead. It's a tad tiny bit different and then go with the same takeovers and subscribe if you haven't done so already.